This video is part of React Custom Hooks testing course. In this course we learn how to create, test and publish your custom React hooks as standalone npm packages. In this video we will learn how to test your custom effect hooks. We're gonna write test to our use Pokemon hook that you can see in use effect hook creation tutorial. This hook fetches Pokemon by its name and it returns three values. Pokemon, if we successfully fetched it, is loading state, which will be true if we are still fetching the data, and error if something happened during data fetching. Inside of this hook we have three states that store Pokemon, error and is loading state, which is true by default, and change it during the process of fetching data. Make sure to see previous tutorial where we were writing this hook. Begin by creating new file use Pokemon test.js and import act and render hook from React testing library. Import act render hook from testing library React hooks. Make sure to install React hooks testing library. Now import our use Pokemon hook. from use Pokemon. Let's create our first describe block. Describe use Pokemon. We're gonna test several things. First, we're gonna test that it fetches Pokemon by proper URL. Fetches Pokemon by the URL constructed from Pokemon name. If you check out this hook, we pass Pokemon name so that we append it to our Pokemon API URL. Then we need to test three cases. We need to make sure that use Pokemon properly processes the loading state. Describe while fetching data It handles loading state correctly. We also need to test that everything will be fine if we successfully fetch the data. Describe when got data successfully. It handles successful state correctly. And finally, we need to check error state. Describe with error during request. If we get an error during request, we need to handle it correctly as well. It handles error state correctly. If we go to console and run our tests now, yarn test, you will see that we'll get a bunch of errors because our it blocks don't have the callback part. Go back to your files and write to do, append to do, to each it block that doesn't yet have a callback. This way we can mark our tests as scheduled for later. Let's start writing our tests. First, let's check if we properly form our URL. Remove to do and make this function asynchronous. Inside of it, we will mock fetch function. Global fetch equals just fn. Now we need to call our hook. Call render hook and pass a callback inside that will call our use Pokemon with a Pokemon name Pikachu. Now we can call expect that will check that global fetch was called using function to be called with. So we can check that it was called with specific arguments. And now let's go to use Pokemon hook and copy our URL. We'll expect it to be called with this URL and Pikachu as Pokemon name. As you can see, we got warning about act. Let's go back to our tests 
and wrap our render hook into act function. Await act with async function that will call our render hook. As you can see, our test passes. Now let's test if we can handle our loading state successfully. Let's create a callback. And here it gets a little bit complicated because we will need to not only mock our fetch function, but we also need to keep it in pending state. We can do it by creating a new helper function. Create new function called get controlled promise. Get controlled promise. Inside of this function, create new variable called deferred. This variable will keep reference to our promise resolve and reject functions. And then create a promise. Const promise equals new promise. That will get a callback. And this callback will accept resolve and reject. Now inside this callback we assign deferred to be an object with resolve and reject function inside of it. And we return an object that will contain deferred and promise that we've just created. Now inside of our test create constant deferred and promise using our helper function get control promise now we will mock our global fetch function also using just fn but now we'll also mock the implementation it will return our controlled promise now let's render our hook const result equals render hook use Pokemon. We can already check that result current is loading is true. Expect result current is loading to be true. But we can also test here that after data will be fetched successfully, our is loading state will be false. So let's call deferred resolve. And now we'll need to get another function from our render hook that is called wait for next update. After we resolve our promise, we can call await wait for next update. We'll also need to make our test function asynchronous. Now we can copy our expect and change it to be false. Let's format the document and see if our test passes. As you can see, it have passed successfully. So we can write two other specs. Now let's make sure that we handle our data properly. Make a new callback. Remove the to-do part. Make sure your callback is asynchronous because we'll be calling fetch in there. And now let's start writing our test. Here we'll need to create control promise again. So I will just copy those lines from previous test. And we'll also mock the fetch function. Global fetch equals just fn with mock implementation that returns our promise. We'll also need result and wait for next update from render hook function. So we can copy this as well. Now we can call our deferred resolve function with an object that has JSON field. That will be a callback that will return an object having Pokemon field as Pikachu. I resolve with an object that has JSON function because when we fetch our data, we then call this JSON function from our response to get JSON representation of our data. So this way I mock this part. Now we call our wait for next update. 
and now we can expect our result current Pokemon to strict equal Pokemon Pikachu. I prefer to be verbose when I make my assertions, so I create a new object with fields Pokemon and value Pikachu, both when I mock the value and when I test for equality. This way we make sure that if we get data with Pokemon Pikachu from our server, we write it to Pokemon field of our hook. Let's look at our tests and we have just one test to write. We'll start by mocking our fetch function again. Global fetch equals just fn with mock implementation that will return new promise that inside of its callback will throw an error. Now we can copy render hook call from previous test because we'll need both functions again. Now we can call await wait for next update and now we can expect that our result current error will be strictly equal to fetch error message. Let's check out our tests and they all pass. Make sure to see other videos from the attached playlist. Subscribe to the channel and press the like button. See you next time.